Hello everyone, here's a quick video showcasing the CDK for Terraform project. I have the CDK TF CLI already installed and I can run CDK TF in it to initialize a new project. I will select TypeScript for my language and go with the defaults for the project name and description. Here we automatically detect we have a Terraform Cloud token. We can choose a Terraform Cloud organization and create a workspace. Now we start initializing our CDK for Terraform project using the TypeScript template. We now download and generate the required providers and modules for this project. Our project is successfully initialized and it's ready for us to use. We can now switch to our IDE. In this case, we have VS Code. We have a few project files. Next, we'll open up the main.typescript file and import a few different resources. We'll import a VPC, a subnet, and an Amazon instance. We can use a generated classes that were automatically generated for us by CDKTF. We get suggested a few different classes we can pick and choose the ones that we need. We'll also import the AWS provider that was also generated as part of the initialization process. Next, we'll define a few different resources. First, we'll create a new AWS provider. We give it the scope an ID, and a config. We set the region to US East 1, and we are ready. Next, we'll define a VPC, and we'll specify a CIDR block. Next, we'll create a new subnet, and then create a new instance. We provided the scope, an ID, and a config. We set the AMI ID and the instance type. Next, we'll import a Terraform output. and provide this with an instant public IP. Now we are all set. We can now deploy our application. Let's switch to the terminal and then run the CDK deploy command. This allows you to directly deploy your application and runs the appropriate Terraform commands in the background. We are then presented with a CDK TF diff or a Terraform plan. We can approve or deny this plan. On approval, we start deploying the VPC example stack, which will create an AWS instance, an AWS subnet, and an AWS VPC. We have successfully created three resources and one output, which is the instance public IP address. Thank you.